So this is one type of corrosion that we see on the spars of our travelers, cheetahs, and tigers. It's these uh, blisters of a, uh, they're always deeper than they all taller. And here's another view of looking at the same blisters. And when you have one, you might get away with it. When you've got five or six of various sizes all in the same general area, more than likely that spar has been rejected. Luckily on this pre-purchase, the owners decided to send the airplane down to Fletch Air, get a new spar, and fix the fuel tank leak for the prospective buyer at the same time. And then most of the time what you see is blisters on the top and that wide expanse of light surface corrosion. Here's what it looks like underneath the gear attach points. Again, these bars need to be scotch brighted down, clean, and then look to see what you have. And if they're good, then you can go ahead and put primer, uh, anodize and alanine, and then go back and put on primer on these items. So that's how insidious the corrosion is. The big thing is, is when you first get your airplane, it's clean this area really good. Um, and then you can put oil or Corrosion X or ACF 50 on it. These are what the uh, general corrosion looks like on the attached brackets. Uh, it needs to be scotch brighted down, cleaned, and then primed. Uh, and that'll stop the problem right there. But you've got to go through all the treatment of the aluminum and some of that hardware would need to be replaced. So we hope you found this informative and useful. Thanks for watching Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. Hope you never find spar corrosion on your aircraft. And uh, here's how to look for it.